hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will not learn something about uh, from the coding perspective in the business central but we will learn about the new and the planned features which are slated to release with the version of business central 2023 release wave 2 okay uh, which will release uh, in the first week of the october right so <clears throat> let's see what are the new features uh, microsoft gonna introduce there and uh, uh, what are the useful links through which you can learn about them uh, learn about all of them and uh, since we just now only uh, have two months with us through which uh, by which the next version will get released and then we will all access some of the nice features right so let's get started the very first link uh, where uh, from where when you uh, go to there and you can get all the useful information about the business central is this learn.microsoft.com and release plan 2023 wave 2 right so here you can see that uh, although because uh, we all know twice a year microsoft releases uh, two versions of the business central and along with that microsoft have some other products as well of dynamics 365 family which they release uh, during the same time right so uh, for example uh, now you can see here that get the most out of the business central in which the links are uh, to uh, to know more about them like view all capabilities including this release uh, stay up to date on the latest product updates uh, release calendar licensing product documentation user community upcoming events and product trials right uh, so although like uh, these things uh, belongs to maybe product trials is something where like you want to try the business center from the customer perspective so you can sign up there and then get the uh, get the new uh, version of the business center for you to access right like uh, for example if i click on the release plan here you will get the access of the new and the planned features which I will uh, show you further about the product updates when you go uh, you can see that uh, currently uh, the old launch event is available which uh, uh, which was done happened in the 2003 release wave one time in the April okay you can watch that thing and along with that uh, if you if you like uh, go here in the business central you can see that uh, some of the nice videos on the topics which are already released are available so you can watch them from here and in case you are uh, not using business central but the other products so you can use click on them and watch uh, there as well okay it includes the power platform uh, concepts as well now uh, if I go back then uh, we have this release calendar available through which uh, we all know that uh, when uh, we can get to know about the release schedule and the early access okay so the thing is uh, as i as i told you that the 2023 release wave 2 will begin uh, from the first week of the october channel availability so uh, more thing is that you want to learn more about uh, some uh, frequently asked questions and you can check them and have all your questions answered right now licensing is one of the one of the very cool feature one of the important feature that uh, if anybody wants to sell the business central to your customers then you should know about the complete licensing policy so this is this guide and although this guide uh, is uh, also uh, available in the previous version as well uh, but if you see this section here this time they have included these two new things uh, so that's why they mentioned in the words new in the licensing guide so you can check them as well in case you already know about it so you just can check the new offers which microsoft is gonna give us in the new version apart from that uh, the same uh, features which are already been a part of our license you can learn about them from here okay so now uh, if uh, you want to uh, help your community then you can click on this and check this 
range right now it's not available uh, yeah it's showing so this is a business central forum and you can join the discussion here for all the questions which the people are asking and help them and believe me if you help them you will get to learn more new things right so now let's see this second link well this is the link which is uh, which is very very important from the learning perspective and from the new features perspective right so whether you access this link or whether you access this link most of the things are very very much same okay so like if you go to this don't worry i will share this link with all of you so now uh, for example as i told you that the uh, Dynamics 365 family is so big and it has so many products available so that's why what you can see here that in this family we have so many products and all the latest releases and whatever the new features is going to introduce uh, you can learn about them from these links uh, but if I click on the business central and then you can see here that the plan feature 62 upcoming features will be included in the release plan so the new features which will come in this new version are 62 which are planned for release coming soon is uh, three upcoming features available this month so as we know that Microsoft not only releases the major versions of the business center twice a year but uh, we always get to see the minor versions of the business central every month so if you really want to learn about uh, the new features which will be available in the just next month so you can uh, click on it here and see about these three three new features which will be coming up okay okay in the august only so this month version only you will get these features okay and now uh, about uh, this try now 128 new features recently released uh, to the market so these are the recently released things so based on the user experience based on the whatever changes are available in the development part so you can check them and learn about uh, the concepts of it from here only okay so you can see that from the development perspective so many new features are attached like attach AL debugger to active session or next session it was released in April 4 so you get to see the dates as well right so april 1 means that uh, this was a part of the uh, current major version which is uh, prevalent in the market called pc22 okay so all these features are available and if you don't know about them you can learn from here but uh, if i click on the plan and now you can see that uh, user experiences like uh, some of the features which you can you will be able to learn uh, from the user perspective uh, that you can learn from here that uh, for like search for pages and data in the mobile app so if you if you want to use the mobile application then you can search the pages and data from there okay uh, add the existing table fields to optimize your pages this is a very nice feature which will come in the October version of the business central that uh, till now uh, like in case you are a user and you want to add some new fields which you are not been able to see in the current uh, page then you we all know that we can personalize our page and add the fields but sometimes uh, not all the fields are uh, are available during the personalized time right but now it is uh, it is saying that we can add all the existing table fields to to optimize our page Right, so this is a very nice feature which we will get to uh, learn uh, or get to use uh, with the upcoming version okay uh, then uh, from the there are different sections available okay through which you can learn all about them uh, now if I let's say go to here so those different section which I showed you here are also available here so like to show you something from the development perspective as well uh, but first of all let's see what's uh, gonna come in the power platform so this is one of the very very important thing uh, which is now gonna available in the power platform so what it's saying is that change modification limits for triggering flows and bulk updates 
so although uh, flows are very very uh, very very powerful uh, feature which is uh, which is available uh, with the business central not with the business central but it is also available for other things but business central is also highly tightly integrated with the flows but sometimes uh, during the during the time when uh, you want to modify uh, certain records in the business central and the flow will trigger so uh, concurrently uh, sometimes there was a limit called of 100 uh, 100 times it can run but now if you read this until now there was a limit of 100 rows in the way that power automate flows and the dataverse virtual tables were triggered okay so if you just remove this dataverse virtual table also then it is saying that only it was a limit of only 100 rows that a power automate flow will trigger when multiple rows are changed simultaneously or during a short period of time okay not together but uh, like at just one go like first you modify one one row then second row then third row then fourth row and then every time you are modifying something and the flow trigger so it was a limit of 400 rows but now uh, they have increased it from 100 to 1000 so this is gonna be very very useful okay and of course this support business events in the business central connector so uh, this is also a very game changing feature which will come in the business central that uh, now uh, what they have done they have added a business central connector trigger the trigger name is when a business event occurs right so whenever any business event runs okay uh, you can use that event to get a uh, get be available in the power automate flows as well like it immediately reacts to any business event raised in a selected environment it uh, guys please understand it, it is uh, it is uh, mentioned here a business event not an integration event okay then it even have the capability to react to the events in a specified name company as well okay and then the last thing if you read it reacts on multiple events at once even in the parallel okay so it does not matter that uh, how the business events gets called but it can be triggered even it, it works in the parallel manner as well right so that is really really a gonna be very useful feature and uh, as i told you like i have already uh, made a video on uh, power automate flows where uh, we get to learn about uh, how to use the power automate flows with the business center so in case you don't know you can watch them i made three to four videos on that part so that you can understand the basics about it and then you will be easily able to use these features as well right this is from the application perspective uh, so these are more functional related things if you if you ask me i will make some videos for these topics as well but uh, now let's see this section co-pilot and ai innovation so what it is saying here that uh, if you remember uh, last last week only i made a video on this uh, co-pilot thing so we have learned about this concepts get marketing tech suggestions with the co-pilot okay we have seen that but now uh, in case uh, there is one more features is available uh, like complete bank account reconciliation faster with the co-pilot so uh, it's very cool thing like uh, because bank account reconciliation is always always a very uh, tedious thing to do okay but although in the business center it is not that tedious but now with the inclusion of the ai feature there the co-pilot feature there it becomes more easy to and more uh, smooth to complete your reconciliation okay so we will we will see this when it is available for the preview in the october month so we will learn about this feature that how to use it but right now it is not available you can see that public preview is october okay these are from the some countries uh, regional perspective now let's see this development part what are the new features are gonna come in the development section so this is one of the new features which is available is that you can open the vs code from the web client to investigate or troubleshoot extensions amazing thing okay but uh, although uh, it will be available for from the september so we will learn about it 
uh, when it is available for the preview general availability is october but uh, the thing is if you read here in this scenario what will happen a new vs code session will begin project for the chosen extension will be created because uh, in the uh, in the web client whatever process we are doing what uh, and that process belongs to whatever extension it will open that extension automatically in the vs code it will also match the launch configuration it will automatically create the launch configuration depending on the production of the sandbox so there is no limitation that you cannot do it in the production you can do it in the production as well and, and of course in the sandbox okay then uh, like if invoked from the context to view extensions symbol will be downloaded automatically and AL explorer will open to easily allow the browsing objects okay like uh, like if you really want to view the extensions then uh, you will get to see all the symbols okay you will be able to view the source code or you will be able to attach or debug also so very very strong feature which is uh, gonna come in the web client okay then the second thing is turn off data analysis mode on the pages under queries so we all know that the data analysis mode is not a new thing it is already available in the current version but the thing is now we can turn off it as well okay on the pages and the queries where it does not make any sense right so what uh, they are mentioning here that data analysis mode was introduced okay in the release wave one a new way of interacting but instead of running reports uh, like this uh, for some list pages uh, this capability this feature does not make any sense so what they are saying here that uh, AL developers now have the capability to turn off the data analysis mode using the page metadata. Tenant admins can override the developer's choice, right? So, and one of the new property which they're gonna introduce with this feature is called the UI enable, which can be have only two values, true or false. Okay, so we will see about it that what how we can use it in a more efficient manner. Okay, when it will get released in the September version. Then the last thing is the use the built-in rich text editor to enter the data so we have seen this also uh, while we were learning about the co-pilot thing uh, but now they are saying is that this feature of rich text editor is now not limited to the co-pilot thing but it is also available to all the fields which are media set related okay so uh, you can read this statement that now we are bringing the power of our built-in rich text editor to all the media fields in the business center okay so this is also a very cool feature which will really help all the users that they will be uh, able to use more and more features while they are typing uh, multiple line of text okay and then uh, you can see about more functional things which will get introduced in the user experience also it's very good thing that you can see that add existing table fields i already told you about it so these are the some of the nice features which will microsoft introduced in the upcoming version and we will learn about them when it will get uh, available in the september month and, and in the october month so I think that's all in the today's video i will share these uh, links in the description section so that uh, you just no need to search on the google you just directly access them and learn about them in a more detail okay so thank you very much for watching this video in case you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel